Yeah, I, uh, I don't know why I've never gotten around to playing Left 4 Dead. I, I feel like I need to get, like, just a group of people to play it with. Which are, like, the optimal way to play it, from what I understand. It's a okay. I mean, maybe it is. I don't think. It always sounds kind of silly when somebody says something like that, and like, you know, fair enough. But I mean, I don't know what it's like to be blind. Maybe it is. Yeah, I, I mean, that makes sense, unless, I mean, they've got the fucking ease of access shit that, like, reads out things to them on their computers. I really don't like it when the trees just wiggle around randomly. That shit bothers me. Uh, it's just the wind. starting to get really hot now, I guess. Drop off the uh, tree branch I somehow stuck in a fanny pack here. At least one of these I want to make into a uh, sturdy stick.
wonder how close any of that other stuff is to being done. Those crops. Shit. I love is that I haven't used this hammer and anger in a while, and it's still covered in blood. Honestly, without a good source of fresh water. All of my clothes are covered in blood. <clears throat> that's that's actually surprisingly a horrifying thought. I don't think I'd want to use that hammer anymore if it was haunted like that. I had another hammer. Not a big deal. Black pudding? Like, the fucking weird slime mold stuff from D&D. &D. Am I really that hot? Shit. Maybe with blood is a thing in real life. What is it? Uh, they also make sausages too with blood. What the fuck? Like human blood specifically, or is it just blood? Pig blood or something. What the fuck is that? That didn't look good. Sounds like some British shit.
Apparently I'm exhausted and can barely move. Which I probably shouldn't be carrying this fucking log. Should probably rest. God. I see. What the f that? What's that shit in there? Is that like cartilage or something? Like what? What is that? I'm concerned. Who makes this? Time to make another fucking roast. Tomatoes are thirsty. Hopefully, you know what? No, we're getting that rain. If it doesn't rain tonight, then I'll start, like, you know, fucking putting the, uh, you know, the water I had saved up into the garden. But I don't want to use it unless I need to. Exertion. All right, one second. I'll read that. No, I don't want to sit on the ground right here. Alright, 
people all around the world have been making them because you know use all the animal but the only one I know mostly yeah exactly I wonder if like all this you know, chopping down logs and making fucking planks and everything adds to my carpentry. I feel like it's part of carpentry. At least in real life. I'm going to finish building this wall and the cow's going to come and kick over lantern and burn it all down. Yeah, my, my campfire right outside the wall is going to just like go fucking wild. I forget to put it out one day. Yeah, fish a long time just to notice the house burning. I guess off the stove. Well, luckily, the for once, the only good thing about the power being out is I know I didn't leave the stove on. You know, until I finally spend all the time to do all of this, and then I get a generator, and then I use the stove. Also, I used to think that the fact that, like, all the houses were, like, 70-something degrees inside of them was just, like, a quirk of the game. No, that's the air conditioning. Inside that house is actually super cold now. It's mildly warmer than it is outside, but not much. We gotta start building up some body heat again. Got it better fucking rain. I know this is like one of the worst times of year to really be hoping for that because fuck, like that's a guarantee at all. I just wish you could melt snow. It doesn't seem like it's a thing, though. The 
forgot I gotta drop my shit back off over here. chili start trying to run around a bit to build up the body heat again still better to have removed these layers right now than to be burning myself up and then needing more water and I am exerted. I'm gonna have to rest anyways. A little bit. Exertion just came back. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Well, grab the saw and just fucking go to town on all of these logs. I think I'd need the saw as well, maybe. And another plank. I am still losing weight. You like really gotta keep your fucking eating up. When I gain any weight, I guess. Or maintain. I feel like I was maintaining pretty well at first, but then again, I was getting like a lot of processed food all the time. Doesn't look like we're getting any rain.
Try to get ahead of the curve and go to sleep. See if there's any sleep in the morning. Or not. I'll wake up at 3 30. and be really cold. So I actually gotta fucking do this shit now. I guess maybe the weather report was wrong. This is supposed to be taking place in the 90s, so I mean, not like weather forecasting was bad necessarily back then. It wasn't as good as it is today. Salt that a bit. Put in a radish. Carrot. I got something that's worth eating. How many eggs do we have left? We have two. the wall. I need more nails. Huh. 
102 nails. Check on the food. About halfway. It is really bothering me that it's not raining. I was really hoping for that. He reached halfway to getting level four carpentry. Oh, there's a good chance I will. You know, there's actually kind of decent chance. You know what? I think that's where I'm gonna fucking leave it for tonight. Get the wall like halfway finished for right now. I feel like that's doing pretty decent. Um, we gotta get some water. That's the next big thing. I got a few things of water left in underneath the sink in there. Um. I've only got a couple more sources of water in there. The, the fucking kitchen sink's basically cached, right? So kitchen sink's basically cached. We've got the bathroom sink and the toilet. And then we also, after that is exhausted, we have, let's see, the sink and bathroom stuff over here and then after that I don't know if there's anything over there I don't think so yeah there's no sink or anything so after that we're gonna start having to, to trek to places over here I think they got like a bathroom or two upstairs I don't know we'll figure it out And then eventually it is just going to start getting to a point where we're going to be going further and further away to go to sinks to fill up buckets and bottles. Eventually we're just going to need to get a car and put a bunch of buckets in the back to fill up with water from like the mouth of this river over here, which would still be really shitty. I mean, I guess we could like take it to this bridge be like the best point to do that as long as it's not too crowded over there that's a potential plan of course all the water is going to be contaminated so it won't be great for drinking unless we boil it first but luckily we've got plenty of woods around us for cutting down making firewood out of we're doing okay right now we've got plans as long as we've got food and water, we're good. Um, 
and once we've like really got like a good source of food and water secured, then we can start doing like some fucking some weird shit. Like we can start like really clearing out parts of town by getting kind of creative, possibly uh firing off some guns and attracting them into one place and like lighting them on fire out in the woods or some shit like that. Is that like a hobo camp or something like that? Yeah. You know, like set them on fire or something out here in the woods. Which sounds like it could either be really great or a really fucking awful idea. I mean, if we can just, like, get them to come out into the street here and then set up, like, a series of campfires, crossroads, and just light them on fire, that would be the shit. And then we'll just lead them up this road here. Just fire a gun in the street. The loudest gun I can get. And then what we do is we, we light them all on fire and lead them off that way. And then we just like duck off into the, the woods or something or come back up here. Make our way like like super long ways around. Like wait until they start getting kind of scarce, probably closer to like our home again. Because they're not going to be following us that far. Like a lot of them are going to die by the time they get like up this, this way. Or they'll either die or get lost. And we'll just kind of duck back around and then come back down. And then we'll fucking rinse and repeat as much as we really need to. What'll be good is potentially walling this off. Then we can just run gas cans back and forth. If we can get a generator to keep powering this shit, that would be fucking dope. But getting gas for cars would be really cool. And then... I don't know. There's a second story here. Maybe we could find a really cheesy way to make, like, a platform that comes from here to here, and then we can, like, make our way down. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. That's fucking way out there right now, though. That's, that's not even, like, real life yet. <laughs>